Hello everybody and welcome to the video with me Shadows where we're going to be talking about the best dinosaurs in the aisle and the Isle of Rima. Now this is going to be a top 5 list where I discuss my top 5 favourites. This isn't going to be a list based on combat prowess or anything like that. It's going to be based on my top 5 based on aesthetics. It is going to be based slightly on combat to my own interpretation of it. But it will differ from yours. So this is my best list. So I'll start at number 5 and make my way to the number 1 spot. Which one do you think is going to be at the top spot? Will it be the same as yours? Let's get into it and take a look. Can you also check to see if you're subscribed as well guys in the bottom right hand corner because YouTube has been unsubscribing my subscribers lately. So if you just click that subscribe button you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like the content anyway. Cheers. So what is at number 5? It is the Dinosuchus for me. I personally love the Dinosuchus in Abrima. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. The model is great. We haven't got a skin system for it yet or any of Abrima for that matter. But the model itself looks gorgeous. The animations are great. The attack animations are great. The swim animations are great. I just love the entire model and the way it is. It's also very great in combat. The only downside is it takes nearly six hours to grow, which is a long time. But it is still a lovely looking animal and I really, really enjoy playing it when I can get it to adult and I'm not being eaten by five billion other Dinosuchuses in the Isle of Rima. It's got great attack, the hunger is good, the water is good, the stamina is a bit crap on land but that's to be expected, but other than that it is great all round in Avrima. It is the apex in Avrima for me at the moment, that's why I absolutely love it. I love being absolutely huge dwarf in other dinosaurs and it is just great fun to play, it feels great, it feels like you're playing a giant croc, that's why it's at number 5 for me. And now we're at number four. Ooh, what's it gonna be? It is the Diabloceratops, AKA the Dibble. So this little beast is great against mid-tier dinosaurs in the Isle Legacy and anything small. But it can also take on apexes if people know how to play it right. It's an absolute beast. It's very fast. It's got great stamina. It's got some good skin customizations as well. You can get lots of different colors for the Dibble. And there are some downsides to it though. It needs to eat, like, constantly. So you need to make sure you're constantly keeping your food topped up, but it does last a while when it's topped up. They're very fast and they're a good all-round herbivore. I really like the danger potato. I think they, they're good fun. They can chase off lots and lots of dinosaurs and they're just great to have in a herd. They're like little pit bulls running around in a field. I think they're absolutely adorable as well. The baby versions of them are absolutely great. They, they look so cute and then when they grow they're just as cute. The way they run it's like having a little little dog thing about but they're also very deadly. They're a Dilo's worst nightmare, an Aloe's worst nightmare, they're just a, a Yuta's worst nightmare. They're just very very scary and that's why they're number four in my list. We're into the top three now and this was a tough choice. So at number three, it is the Dilo. The Dilo is definitely one of my favorite dinosaurs to play in the aisle. I mean, look at it. Just look at some of the colors you can get. It has fantastic night vision. One of the best night vision ranges in the Isle Legacy. It's fantastic. You can see for miles in the night and it's a nocturnal predator, making it perfect for sneak attacks in the night with other dinosaurs can't even see you coming. I love the play style. It's very fast as well. It's got great hit and run tactics and one of the best bleed damages in the game also. So one bite and it's going to do a lot of bleed to mid tier dinosaurs and below. It can bleed out apex dinosaurs as well if you are very clever. I've got some great videos on the Dilo on my channel if you want to check them out here. There's some great videos of me taking on Rexes as Dilos and everything. So I absolutely love the Dilo. Hunger lasts for a long time. Water lasts for a long time. It's got a very quick sniff animation as well so you can sniff quite quickly to track down your prey if you're tracking things. And the model and the sounds, the sounds? Oh, I love the sounds in the night. They sound great, they like that little noise, the two call, the three call. I just think they, they sound great, they look great. One of my favorite dinosaurs in the aisle. We're at to the last two now. What's at the second spot? It is the Allosaurus 
The Isle for me was one of the first dinosaurs I played when I played the Isle. I didn't have a clue what I was doing, but I really liked the look of it. And as you can see, some of the skins are absolutely gorgeous. You can change the colour of the crest if you're male, and it just looks gorgeous. It's relatively quick to grow. It's a great all-rounder. It's very balanced, good attack, not bad defence, not bad bleed, very fast when you get it in ambush. It can catch up and take on nearly anything with the speed. It's fast enough to run away from what it can't fight and it can take on what it can. It's a great all-rounder. I like the calls for the ammo, although call number one does sound like an old man screaming or something screaming and his voice breaking in the background. Very, very old, but it is a great dinosaur nonetheless. The hunger lasts for a while. The first lasts for a while, so it is a great beginner dinosaur. It's good if you like to travel in packs because they're great in packs and they just look and feel good. They, they good. They be good. Play one. Play one and you'll see what I mean. Oh, so it's the top spot now. What do you guys think it is? Oh, tell me in the comments before I let you know what it is. It is the Tyranna. Ah! No, it's not. It's the Gigantosaurus, the Giga. That is my number one spot. And let me tell you why I've chosen that and why Rexy isn't even in my top five. The Giga for me is fantastic. The colours are absolutely gorgeous. You can have some great colours on this animal and it just looks gorgeous. You know, the oranges, the blues, the reds, the greens, every colour. I absolutely love them. The roar isn't as cliche as the Rex. Um, it does sound like it's ripped from Dino Crisis 2, but that's fine because I like Dino Crisis. Um, the, the calls sound gorgeous, so I like that. It's got some great animations. It feels weighty. Absolutely massive. It's got a good bite. It's not as good as the Rex is, but it's got a good bite and it's got some great bleed damage. One of the best bleeds in the game. I mean, you can bite things and bleed it out if it needs to be. One bite, two bites, you're bleeding it out. It's a great animal. It feels great, looks great. What is not to like about a Giga? It's got a good turn radius as well because turn radius is a big thing in Legacy, otherwise, you're going to get arse ridden, tail ridden, whatever you want to call it. And it's just top of my list. What do you guys think about that? Are you shocked that I didn't put a Rex in there? Don't get me wrong, I do like the Rex and I think it deserves an honourable mention, but it's not in my top five. I think Rexy for me is a great dinosaur. Again, sounds a great, but it's no giga, and it's certainly not in my top five. I prefer the other four and the giga compared to the Rex. So that's why I couldn't put that in my top five. Although the Rex is very strong. Nah, it's too much of a cliche for me, although it is lovely. So what do you guys think on that? Do you agree with my top five? Do you disagree? Do you think I've missed something? Do you think Rexy should have been in there? Let me know in the comments, guys. I read every comment and I reply to every comment which you need to reply. So please let me know below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe because it really helps my channel out and it keeps me growing. And don't forget to like because, again, that helps circulate this round on YouTube. I'd like to thank my patrons for supporting me as well as my YouTube members it means so much to me that you guys support me during the times we've got at the moment in the world it means so much to me that you guys want to support and watch my videos i've been shadows hope you've enjoyed it i'll catch you in the next one